We're at one of my favorite beaches in all of Florida. And today, we're gonna be catching some meat-eating fish. And what better way to catch meat-eating fish than using meat for some bait? We've got Jack Link's Beef Tender Bites teriyaki flavor, and we've got Jack Link's 100% beef steak. I'm pretty sure we're gonna catch a lot of meat-eating fish using this. Let's give it a try. So I rode my bikes down here. We've got these awesome e-bikes that we've been using in the past few episodes. But I bring all my gear in this milk crate, three fishing rods, I'm gonna set up and throw them out right now. Number one rule of thumb, if you're really trying to catch fish, you don't bring a fly rod and you don't bring lures. You really just bring the best, freshest bait you possibly can get and some really awesome bottom rigs. That's what my dad taught me. Shout out to dad. Shout out to all dads. We've got our seafood jerky that we make ourselves. We've got squid jerky, clam jerky, and shrimp jerky. We also have Jack Link's beef jerky and more Jack Link's beef steak jerky. Comment below, which one is gonna work the best? I bring my baits and I bring my pre-tied rigs all the way up there so I don't have to keep running back and forth. The surf looks like four ounce would be great. Four ounce. Four ounce. These are all of my pre-tied rigs here. I've got Saviki rigs. I've got my uh, bottom rigs. I've got my catch-all rigs with floats. I've got catch-all rigs without floats. I also have floats in case fish are biting on color. The first thing I'll set up is my catch-all rig. This basic one doesn't have any floats on it. It's just two hooks. Now this rig is awesome because you can catch two fish at one time. Okay, beef tender bites. Teriyaki. 100% beef. It smells amazing. I love beef jerky. And they're already in bite-sized pieces. Mmm, they're really tasty. It's sweet, it's meaty, it's delicious. I don't see why a fish wouldn't bite this. Okay, so this should just be pretty easy to hook on. It just goes like this. Well, it's pretty, pretty tough. tough. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty tough. There we go. Beef jerky bit number one. So the first rod I'm going to set up with beef jerky, okay? The second rod I'm going to be setting up with fresh shrimp so we can see which one gets more bites, okay? Then the last one I'll set up with one beef jerky, one shrimp. And it's just so convenient to have these reusable, retied rigs. I don't have to keep tying them every single time. Premium rig has these hand-painted floats that look like sand fleas. This color here looks like sand flea eggs. And if you know fish, they love to eat sand fleas and they love to eat their eggs. To really secure this bait on, I've got my special bait elastic here that is literally invisible when you put it on. That is why it's called Invisithread. And with this thread, they're not able to pick it off as easy. When you cast it, you can cast it as hard as you want and you don't have to worry about your bait flying off. Okay, this is my final rod and this is a different rig. We've got three different rigs we're testing today. One is the high-low without floats, one is high-low with floats, and this one is a bottom fish finder rig. And we have this at our store as well. It's called a sure catch rig because you're sure to catch something using this. It'll kind of just flow really naturally on the bottom. I have a snap swivel attached on the main line right here. Then I tied it onto the sure catch rig. And this is so I can add a sinker. If anything pulls this line, the fish won't feel the tension. So this is actually a good method to catch bigger fish. So here's the game plan. I'm gonna rig everything up. I'll cast everything out. I'll put it in the spots, but I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need a special volunteer to help me reel in whatever bites it. Is there anybody here that would like to volunteer? You? You think you can do it? Okay, let's do it. Thank you for your help. And then? Oh. And then? Thank you.
Good job, the girl got one. My special volunteer. <laughs> Is it feet? You feel it? I think so. The birds are eating all the shrimp, babe. Hey! Get away from our shrimp! Nice, babe. Don't let it off. Don't let it off. It's a big one, babe. Whoa, it's a pompano. What? There you go. Our first pompano. That was on shrimp. Nice job. Wow. That is definitely a keeper. <laughs> I told you guys, the pompano, they love to see the multicolored sand flea floats. They work really well. I told you, these sharp teeth fish, I know what they want. They want the meat. This is a good sized bluefish to eat. I'm gonna take this one home too. You see, this time we left it. We left it at bite. When you set the hook too soon, sometimes the bait is not fully in its mouth. And even though you feel it when you hook it, it gets right off. Let it eat. Nothing, nothing. I just missed the fish. Right now we are fishing a high incoming tide. Everyone who knows about tide charts knows they come in for six hours. There's an hour of slack and then it goes out for six hours. Right now it's almost high tide so all of these fish are flooding into the flats. And Brendan was just telling me that in about 20 minutes the fish will probably turn off completely for 30 minutes while it's high slack. The fish know that it's about to turn and this is a perfect opportunity for them to just get one last quick meal before it all shuts off so there might be some moments of no fish but we're gonna be here for that turning of the tide okay this is our next beef jerky that we're trying it smells kind of like a <laughs> like a pepperoni treat like from Kira I like it you like it yeah <laughs> It's delicious. Y'all comment below your favorite type of jerky. Mmm. All right, we gotta save some of the fish, babe. Okay, just one more. One bite. <laughs> mm. I'm just gonna eat one whole one, and I'll save the other one for the fish. <laughs> this one's for the fish. Wait, give me one more bite. Mmm. Oh, I think I got a bite. Oh. I need my special volunteer here. Take this. I'm here. I'm here. Take this. This is a really good example of what not to do. Look what the bluefish did. You see that nick right there? If another bluefish hits this, it's gonna be gone. So, always, always retie after you catch a toothy fish and it left frays like this. Good thing I have all of my pre-tied rigs already right here. Let's 
So this one is called the long cast rig. This is a little bit different. Instead of a long leader, I tied it with a short leader. This allows you to cast it much further because when, the, when you have a long leader and you cast it, it starts to helicopter like this. That will make your distance shorter. When you have a short leader like this, you're able to cast your bait and your rig significantly further. All I'm gonna do, is cut this off, and then tie this on. And it's as simple as that, and we're ready to go. You can see how when you cast this, it won't be helicoptering like crazy because it's so short. This time we're using this Jack Lynx 100% beef, putting it on just like this. Perfect. Can you do a jerky jig? A jerky jig? No. Face the camera. <laughs> We're gonna use a different kind of jerky now. This is our squid jerky, our clam jerky, and our shrimp jerky. And it's not jerky that you're gonna wanna eat, but this is our salty bits bait. And this one, I'm gonna use a piece of clam. I'm just gonna cut it like this. And that's how I'm gonna present my bait, just like that. This is the mantle that we make. And now you're just gonna cut this into a strip or however you'd like. Cut whatever shape you want. I'm gonna cut it into kind of like a triangle shape so that when it's in the surf, it'll kind of like flutter around. And I cut the edges off like this, so it's kind of rounded. Now I'll put it on here like this. We got squid jerky and clam jerky at the same time. Look. Come on, Brendan. the jerky is it it's on the jerky yeah it is on the new jerky the new jerky oh yeah it's jumping at the top okay. Woo! that was on the, the the new jerky the new jerky take a look it just goes to show with the right rigs and the right bait, you're gonna get the right fish. No more jerky for you, Aaron. This is my jerky. This is for the this is for the fishing. We gotta make a video on it. Fine. You want one more? One more. Which one? You want this one or this one? I don't want it. Okay. Why? Because it's in my pocket? Yeah. You'd rather eat it from a bag than my pocket. Marks the spot. What the heck? There's gotta be a treasure. Just dig, just dig. I think there might be something in there. Oh! I got a bite! I got a bite! Big 
And this one was on the salted clam. Wow. The jerky clam. It looks like jerky's beating out the shrimps today. And this was on the long bomber rig. See how short this leader line is? This allows you to cast it really far. And that's where I've been finding these fish. Spray it again. All right, so what I will first say is that the tide has turned. The tide is now going out. Like I said before, it got high for a while, nothing bit, and now it might be turning on. But I wanna show you what Brennan's got going on. It looks like he has switched jerkies. Our basic catch-all rig, some fresh shrimp, and some salted clam, and you're gonna have a lot of fishing luck because this is a great combo. Bait's all still on there because of not only the elastic bait, but our clammy bits, they just stay on so strong. Oh, that's a hard bite. Yeah, it was. jumped up and shook its head. See it? Yes, I saw it with my eyes. Did you see that? Yes. That was such a good fight. Thank you, dude. It's a pretty nice size pool. Sharp teeth? Sharp teeth. Let's see those teeth. Yeah, don't try to lift that. <laughs> do not try to lift that. That's a nice size bluefish, look at that. But we got a lot of bluefish in the bag already. We don't need to keep this. And I'm not going to keep it for anyone else, so I got to let this one go. Let it live on another day. Let him go and let him grow. Whoa, you got a big fish! Yes! Oh my goodness! Holy cow! That's a big one! 
No, it, it might be swimming towards you. Is it on? Yeah. Well, I see it in the surf. Whoa, big one. Nice. Holy crap. Nice fish. We gotta let this one go too. I waited long enough, but it bit my hook off right, right here. That was an excellent day of fishing. I'm really glad we both got on to fish. Me too. That was really, really fun. I got a pompano first of the season. Yeah. And thanks for helping me out with that. Thank you, my special little volunteer. <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. We got so many big bluefish, and I told you guys, they're hungry for meat. Actually, so am I. You're gonna have to hungry? eat another, yeah. If you guys want to get on fish just like us, I sell every single one of these rigs that I was using, the different kinds of salted baits as well. If you like our show, support us by visiting our website, hayskipperfishing.com. It was a blast to use the jerky as bait, including the salted bait. That caught a lot for us. And now we have a lot of bluefish, and we can go home and make something, right? Yeah, well, we're going to the Keys this Sunday. And the plan is we're going to take all this bluefish, make it into a bluefish salad, kind of dip and we'll drive to the keys and we'll have dip for the next couple of days yeah so keys is next stay right. tuned guys we're going to be in the florida keys next all right have a good week thank you for watching <laughs>